Hello everyone, so this is just an updated video regarding the uh, camp trip project. I developed it all myself. It came out to about 1,000 feet. I was going to send it down to uh, Sydney Lab in London, but um, their communication and their emails wasn't exactly engaging, so I just went ahead and did it myself. So, I had to split the reel in half, unfortunately, because Towards the second half of the telecine, I was having the uh, malfunctions, um, problems, uh, and I bought a Toshiba Xeria memory card, thinking that it would be faster and let and better, and it's actually no better than a, than a cheap computer bay memory card uh, that I had. So more expensive isn't always better. So this is it here. This is the first half. I've got everything scanned by the way, um, so that, that's that's a whole lot of film there, it would um, just about completely fill this split reel here. Uh, there has been some problems, the last reel was partially developed for some reason, it was like um, only about half the film across its width was developed when I used the same amount of developer as I did with um, all my other films, so I have no idea what's caused that. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate. The other reel of 250D, um, where my friend recorded some footage of his motorbike um, at the campsite and some other stuff, it turned uh, dark red for some reason. I think it was maybe heat damaged. But then again, all the film was subject to high heat. Um, and that reel of 250D seemed to suffer the worst. So I don't know what's wrong with it. But the vast, but a lot of it, especially Fuji F sixty four D film, that turned out beautiful. Um, it's just so beautiful to look at. Uh, the Fuji F sixty four D, it just blows the Kodak out of the water. And the sad thing is, I don't make it anymore. Um, that's really really disappointing because um, it is the best film stock I've ever used. Um, uh, it's really really sad that. And that was expired Fuji F64D so just imagine what brand new stuff would be like um, it would be beautiful I just had this look to it that, um, that none of the Kodak stuff had even the 250D um, which just looked uh, crap to be honest so I'm just getting on with the editing That's I'm basically just got a folder and basically each scene is split up into separate images uh, and they're just uh, I'm just using Windows Explorer just to rename them all. Uh, and there's currently 32,269 images, and I'm assembling them all together using a program called Virtual Dub. Um, and what I'm going to do is I export them. It's not 1080p, but 1440p um, uncompressed raw AVI files. And I'm going to export low resolution proxies so I can edit them all together. And then I just replace those low resolution proxy files with the high resolution uncompressed ones when I go to create the final export. Uh, editing's not really my thing unfortunately, I'm not really good at making stories or putting stuff together in that way so I might, I might get help and support with that. But um, certainly the developing side of it has overall turned out brilliantly. Music wise I'm going to use them. Um, Quite a lot of the synthwave stuff, just retrowave stuff, 80s, 90s themed stuff. Um, hopefully I'll try and find stuff that isn't uh, going to cause uh, copyright strikes, but it's, uh, it's quite difficult. Or content ID claims. And basically, content ID, um, either if you make a really nice production and someone even gives you permission to use their music, if they've got it on content ID, you get no monetization, it all goes to them, which I think is a bit unfair, it should be split somehow, I think. But anyway, I should have the project released maybe within a month from now, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of hard work, I've been working on it non-stop, so um, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, it's going, to, it's going to be quite a good project, I think.